In April 2018, the European Space Agency is going to release the distances to more than a billion stars. That is going to revolutionize astronomy. And in particular, it's going to enable us for the first time to build a map of uh, the Milky Way galaxy all the way from here to the galactic center. Last year, the European Space Agency released a kind of teaser uh, uh, distances to about two million stars. Uh, and I've been looking at uh, ways to use that information to create maps of the Milky Way. It's quite tricky because, after all, how do you map a million stars, uh, never mind a billion stars? And so what I've been doing is looking at ways to map clouds of stars rather than individual ones. And it's possible to use uh, an algorithm called the Marching Cubes algorithm to take density information about where stars are concentrated and where they're not concentrated to create 3D images, uh, which are effectively a 3D map of our area of the Milky Way galaxy. Uh, so this is uh, an example of one of these 3D meshes uh, that I've created. But I wanted to do something uh, more concrete than that. Uh, and uh, now with 3D printing technology, it's actually possible to take this mathematical model and print it out as a map of the Milky Way that I can have uh, and hold in my own hands. Uh, so this is what I've done. I've just ordered uh, a 3D print uh, of the solar neighborhood out to a distance of about 2,000 light years or 650 parsecs from a company called Shapeways. And before I open the box, I want to show you a little bit about how our area of the galaxy is, is located uh, and oriented. If you can imagine that this is the location of our sun, astronomers uh, say, okay, well, if this is the direction to the uh, center of the galaxy, then they divide the galaxy into four quadrants. Uh, counterclockwise, so one, two, three, and four. And it turns out that our area of the galaxy is tilted, uh, and quadrant one in particular is quite a bit higher than any of the other quadrants. Uh, and uh, three and four are, are tilted down, one is up, and two is also tilted a little bit up. Uh, and the reason for this isn't entirely clear, but it probably has something to do with how um, the hot stars, or the bright stars, in our area of the Milky Way were created. And one theory is, a few tens of millions of years ago, a giant molecular cloud which was orbiting our galaxy hit the galactic plane and uh, caused a lot of star formation. Our sun is much older than the hot and bright stars in our uh, neighborhood. It's about five billion years old, whereas most of the uh, hot and bright stars are only tens or maybe hundreds of millions of years. Um, so we just happen to be uh, moving through this area of the galaxy right now. Well, that's enough uh, information uh, about the stars uh, in our area of the galaxy. So now uh, this is the uh, unboxing. I'm uh, unboxing a, a box of stars. This is our um, a map of our solar neighborhood. Okay. Well, the first thing that comes out, not surprisingly, is a, a packing slip. And then there's uh, a layer of uh, bubble wrap to make sure that the uh, print comes through without getting uh, damaged. And now there's a Ziploc bag, which actually has the 3D map. Shapeways uh, warned me that the uh, uh, map was actually broken in two pieces. Uh, and this is because uh, the area of the stars in our area uh, is actually divided into two sections. Uh, a northern area that we can see from the northern half of the Earth and a southern area from, from the southern uh, hemisphere. Uh, and uh, the northern stars uh, in Cygnus and, and, and Cepheus um, it, are much smaller uh, and they're divided uh, from the southern stars uh, with a very, very thin uh, area of stars, uh, which is why uh, it uh, broke in half. Uh, it's a very nice material. Uh, it's uh, quite uh, strong. It almost feels like porcelain rather than plastic. 
uh, and uh, uh, we can see some uh, features which are also in the, uh, the mathematical model. For example, this area here is Scorpius OB2, which is the biggest concentration of hot bright stars in our area of the uh, Milky Way. Uh, and then this uh, long peninsula that comes down and tilts down is the Orion region. And this little bump here on the side is the location of the Orion Nebula. Uh, this area here is an area of hot stars which are visible in the southern hemisphere uh, and includes uh, stars and constellations like Carina or Vela. Um, so I'm uh, really quite uh, excited uh, to see the fine detail on this model. Uh, it even includes a kind of pillar of stars uh, and there's a lot of details in this uh, which are much easier to see in a, in a physical model than in the mathematical version. Uh, so this is a, a trial run uh, next year uh, when the European Space Agency releases the distances to uh, a billion or more stars. Uh, I'll be producing more of these maps uh, and probably out to uh, the spiral arms, um, to the Perseus arm or the Sagittarius arm. Uh, so I'll probably be doing more unboxing uh, for that. Uh, but for at the time being, uh, this is very exciting. Uh, and uh, it's wonderful to actually be able to hold a 3D map of the Milky Way. Uh, and uh, it wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for uh, this data which is being released uh, from the European Space Agency from the uh, Gaia uh, uh, satellite.